hello there my beautiful darlings welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always i appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart stay blessed uh so let's go ahead and see what in the name of source is going on out here um so someone is seeing you as extremely hard working um so maybe in the past because i see the five of wands out here there may have been effort put in place to prevent someone from seeing the truth about you or maybe people didn't want you receiving an opportunity so they may have said that you were not hard working that you were just someone that caused a lot of drama a lot of mayhem and things like that you didn't you you're not someone that work as a team member like you're really really selfish and things like that but the truth is being seen you're someone focused you're a bit of a firecracker but you are a truth teller you're very intellectual very smart um you will stand up for what's right and the people that matter to you you go out of your way to protect them and make sure that they are secure when they are around you and if people that don't mean them well are around them you will let them know as well so you're someone extremely loyal and hardworking. you are about to be in your privileged lady privileged gentleman energy as i call it because the truth is being seen about a situation there could have been a lot of mental conflict going on due to the efforts of a group a karmic group right pulling strings behind the scenes trying to cost you some type of ending and things of that nature and this is because these people benefit from you not being around a lot of these people could have received paid outs uh, to keep their mouth shut or to cause chaos, confusion, and some things of that nature for either a masculine energy, an institution, a feminine energy, whoever, whatever it was, right? But the truth is being seen. There is something being looked over, right? So there could have been something that was being hidden or something that was just being misrepresented. And it's like, it's like someone or a court is going over something again because something is not adding up. Um, so balance is being brought into a situation. You can expect to be receiving some type of good news. It's going to lead you to a new energy, right? Lead to you being in a new energy in life. Your life is about to turn around for the good. So all of this mental conflict, this group has been causing behind the scenes. It didn't result to anything. And you know, I watch other ter tarot readers because, you know, I'm new to tarot myself, but you're supposed to, you know, study the, uh, uh, the more experienced people so that you can kind of perfect your craft. So I'm not someone that's going to sit and say, oh, I don't watch any tarot readers. I absolutely do because every tarot re reader has a specific uh, 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 ingredient or sauce that they have about them that makes their craft unique. So it's very beautiful to watch them and see how they do their craft. And that enables me to even improve mine. All right. So if you ever meet a tarot reader that says that they don't watch other tarot readers, it's an absolute lie. Um, but I know that for a while, a lot of tarot readers have been picking up on some type of inheritance being blocked, some type of abundance being blocked, or just a karmic group doing too much behind the scenes and not uh, accepting that they were not going to come out at, as winners, right? Things would not be going in their favor. Is that karmics? No matter how much you tell them that what they are doing is not going to work out, they will still keep doing it. And this is because they are so uh, um mentally gone, right? The it's like their sole purpose is to see other people hurting. They want to see you hurt. They want to see you disappointed. They want to see you experiencing some type of loss. They get a thrill out of that, right? Because that's how dark energies feed. That's the only way they thrive is by seeing other people uh, experiencing some type of hurt or loss. But this group... And, you know, every one of you have your own specific group that's coming up against you, maybe family members, friends, or it could just be one person that's doing something behind the scenes. But they've been being warned, right, com repeatedly for a long time by a lot of different readers to sit down, stop doing what they're doing. Even Source has been warning to these people to take a different route, see things from a higher perspective. But these people are greedy. They're fighting amongst themselves. So it's really interesting because these people wanted to cause you conflict but they are the ones experiencing conflict right the they're being forced to kind of just sit down and think about what it is they've been doing the actions they've been taking why they are experiencing a lot of losses and things like that in their lives they are not going to accept responsibility for the way things are turning out they're going to blame you it's going to be the, oh, it's the star C. If it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for her, I would have this, I would have that. My life would be good. But they say you picked a fight with this star C, right? And you were told to leave them alone, but you kept going because you thought you were all powerful.
right? And now this has happened. Someone did not expect you to stand your ground. You're showing up here as the queen of wands, which means that you are someone who is a warrior. You will fight to the end. I remember I told one of my ex, I said, you know what? You know where I'm from. <laughs> we fight to the last breath of us. Like we fight to the very end. We don't stop fighting. That's my energy. You pick a fight with me, I'm going to finish it. I don't pick fights with people, but you pick one with me, I have to make sure I finish it. So it's an ongoing thing for me. It's like that Cardi B statement. Um, if you if if a girl something with me, we got beef forever. I forgot what the specific line was, but it's like one of those, right? Um, so you are showing up here as a warrior queen, a warrior king, of course. Energy is fluid in tarot, so we're not going to assume that this is just a woman. This could be a man as well, but you're showing up as a warrior. You're standing your ground. You you are, you know, mentally balanced. You're ready for whatever these karmics are throwing against you or throwing at you, right? There is some type of a, a, a growth that you are as, about to experience in life. Excuse me, I have so much coming out that I, I'm having a hard time of verbalizing it in order. Let me calm down. So you have some type of growth that's coming, right? So you've been working on something for a really long time, or it doesn't even have to be for a long time, but it's about to accelerate. You can also, for some of you, be expecting to receive some type of good news, a message, something is going to be brought to your attention, and you are being advised to stay calm when you receive this message because it is something that's going to be extremely wild, right? People have been doing things behind the scenes. For some of you, people have been using your numbers, pretending like it's you, committing crimes behind the scenes, and this is going to be brought to your attention. So source is telling you to stay calm, be mature about it, do not act out of character. Just stay calm, right? Do not do anything that, that is going to lead to any type of heartache for you, okay? Or cause some type of even bigger loss for you. But there is some type of court case that may come out of this and you may have to go to court. And someone wants to bring this to your attention so that balance can be brought into your life. You're going through some type of stagnation right now. Whatever that's brought to your attention is going to lead to you stepping into a new door, new opportunities, some type of fresh start that you are going to be having in life. And this is going to take you out of this energy of like and into abundance. You, Some of you are about to be having a new beginning in love, uh, unconditional love. Maybe some of you have never been in relationships where you had unconditional love. You're about to be stepping into that. And there's going to be fulfillment. Someone sees you as wish fulfillment, which is why we have the Ace of Cups followed by the Nine of Cups. Someone sees you as wish fulfillment. They want to have equal gifts and take with you. Someone sees you as their dream partner. They know you are hardworking. You are committed. Someone knows that you have been working for a long time or they can work together with you to build an empire, right? So it's really beautiful how this is uh, showing out. You're coming out of the cold and stepping into love, into newness, into abundance with your soulmate who wants to have fulfillment with you. They want to have the family, the love, the, the empire, everything with you, right? There is some type of betrayal that's going to be brought to your attention, right? And this has to do with some type of abundance people have been blocking from you. Um, some type of inheritance that was left to you or just some type of payout that was meant for you. And people have been doing quite a lot behind the scenes to betray you so that you don't receive this either opportunity or this love. Um, but something is about to come to an end where you will be able to close this chapter, have all of the closure that you need um, by the act of the most high and be able to move on with your life. Your pathway is clear. Um, so you have really nothing to worry about. Source is bringing to your attention that someone from your past has been working with a high priestess. This is someone that asks a lot about you, right? Uh, a high priestess may have had a dream about you uh, may have spoken the truth something this person from your past has been going to a high priestess to get readings on you this could be like a also a king of cups that in the past may have been working to cause you some type of illusion as well uh, misguide you or this person was misguided by a couple by a family by an institution it's like a whole group came together to cause this person some type of illusion about you right? And now this institution, this couple, this king of cups, this high 
priestess is experiencing some type of ending, right? They're falling from grace. This institution is being seen for exactly who they are. There's a couple here that's going through a divorce. They are separating, right? Because they took a risk to interfere with someone's livelihood, right? They interfere with the balance in your life. Some of you were supposed to be in like your emperor energy by now, but because of actions, this karmic couple took behind the scenes, you were not able to stay or get into that emperor energy to bring balance in your life and be able to thrive like you were intended to. These people took a whole lot of risk and they didn't care because these are heartless people because they're broken. They want to see other people broken. There's an emperor in here that is having regrets a lot of regrets about actions he took to interfere with a new beginning for you also it's really interesting because this emperor wants to have a new beginning with you as well is that he has to come towards you and confess something tell you something uh about a situation uh, that he may have partaken in um, and he doesn't know how you're going to receive this, but this person wants to have a brand new passionate beginning with you. Someone has something that they want to present to you. It could also be that for some of you, this emperor has been trying to reach you for a long time. Um, and there has been interferences behind the scenes. It's like the moment he calls you, your, your services goes out. If he sends an email, your internet goes out. You can't access your email. So there are interferences going on behind the scenes. But let's leave it to the most high to work things out in our favor and in due time. So don't rush anything. Everything will work out for your highest good. You can expect to receive victory. Stand your ground is what you are being told to do because this is going to be bring balance in your life. Someone here has fallen from grace. Uh, so there's possibly someone that you were that you were supposed to be working with or partnering up with, and they have fallen from grace due to choices that they made, uh, actions they took against you, trying to steal from you, feeling entitled to something that belonged to you. It's like someone was put in a position to bring balance into your life, bring something, bring a situation to your attention, so that you could appear in court or appear somewhere, so that you could receive what was what was yours. But this person instead took a wrong turn and now they are they have fallen from grace they have lost their protection that they had from the most high it's really baffling to me a lot of the times when people that are angelic people that are star seeds fall from grace because that's not something that happens accidentally it's that you've worked so hard for all of these lifetimes to be what you are and uh some of you are also a creator god so you were already created as angels and you go and do something really stupid for a little bit of change just to lose your grace, just to lose your connection with source. And now you have to keep reincarnating the work of this karma. It's really disappointing. But someone, there's a decision that has been made to bring balance into a situation. Someone wants to come towards you and bring something to your attention so that you can take charge and move forward with your life. There are people in here that have some legal issues coming their way. People are going to be going to prison, going to jail, losing a lot of resources and opportunities. And this is what a lot of us have been warning them, them about, that they need to stop or this is going to happen. We've been warning someone here that they were going to be pulled out of a home. It's either happening or it's, or it's about to happen. Someone I had a dream got fired from a job. It was a masculine energy, a Caucasian male got fired from his job because he was on his last leg with the universe and he had been warned not to do something. But someone is a narcissist right? And they have a lot of hate and anger in their heart, if we can call it a heart. Um, and they just did not know when to stop or just didn't care to stop. And now they've lost a really good paying job. And they're blaming you for this. So they may be taking their anger out on you behind the scenes, interfering with your work, your relationships, your networks and things like that. And it's not going to go in their favor, right? Someone is about to be having a really hard time finding a job because anywhere they go, it's going to be where not hiring. Okay. Something is also being taken from someone and given to you because this person received that unjustly. It says someone pulled a lot of tricks in the court system uh, to get something to go in their favor. And now it's 
coming back to harm them in the behind because they're facing legal consequences for the choices they made to steal some type of business opportunity from you even though they knew you may have had some financial situations going on you may have been stuck in some type of fender bender now this person is about to be in a fender bender themselves because they're about to be losing a lot of resources opportunities uh networking and things like that maybe even a divorce um because we see uh, uh, see this couple out here getting a divorce, having a tower moment. So there's an ending coming for a couple that has gone through an extensive length to block someone's movement. There's a masculine in here that absolutely despises you. And this is because you're someone abundant. This person does not want to see you thriving in life. They want you to stay in some type of liking state, destitute state, deplorable state. This is where they want you to be because they know you are a star energy. And this is where they want to see you because this person fell from grace a long time ago. So it's jealousy. It's a, a, a misdirected anger because these types of people don't know how to tick responsibilities for their actions. So they tend to... Uh, uh, Put that off on other people, right? They tend to project their personalities, their flaws, and things like that on other people because it makes them feel good when they can pretend and lie that you are something that they know you are not. So they will go to an extensive length to paint you in a light that's theirs, right? Uh, there has been a lot of effort put in place to block your forward movement, and this is not by one person people have been working over time to block you from behind the scenes and this is because these are karmics this is how they work they work from behind the scenes they're not brave enough to face you to look in your face and betray you they they instead have to do it from behind the scenes and this is very typical of karmic people anytime it has to take more than two more than one person to destroy a another person they, you already lost a battle you mean it takes a whole group of people to come up come up against one person it really does you should already know that you've lost a battle the moment you have to pair up with another person to try to take someone else down and then regardless of everything you've done so far you still haven't been able to take this person down but you're still going to keep throwing your resources away paying people to do magic paying people to cause hindrances paying people to, to cause blockages Make it make sense. It does not. It never will. Right? You are still in your Queen of Pentacles energy. Someone is seeing you just as this. This is what people have been uh, 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 causing an illusion about. People wanted someone or a uh, uh, institution to see you as someone that was in balance, loose with the mouse, loose with the mind, loose with the heart, loose with the body, not creative, not intelligent, uh, airhead. Just a whole lot of mess. But someone is seeing you as balanced. Someone is seeing you as balanced, complete. Someone may even want to work with you in business and things like that because they know you're very business-minded, business-savvy. Someone here is realizing as well that they threw their opportunity away with you. Uh, they may have went and settled for like a lesser energy that misrepresented themselves. So that's their karma to figure out. They're stuck in that situation and it has nothing to do with you. Someone that betrayed you is experiencing some type of heavy betrayal as well. And it is well deserved. This is the only way they're going to learn their karma. This is the only way they're going to grow, right? Because if this was someone that had morals, they would have never accepted any type of bribery or agreed to do something against you that they knew was not just, right? But because sometimes people, they just don't choose to math the math, they take a wrong turn and cause themselves endings while trying to cause you an ending, right? Your work is absolutely about to tick up, which is going to allow you to bring an end to some type of chaotic experience you've been going through. This is over. Okay, all of these setbacks, these betrayals, this thievery, uh, underhanded moves and things like that by these karmics is over. Um, they are the ones that are experiencing this spirit is sitting these people down immediately and permanently. Okay. The offers these people are going to be receiving are not the ones they were expecting to receive. It's like someone was expecting to receive what, what is yours. Like they feel entitled to it, but they're realizing that they are not getting what is yours because it was never meant for them. It's like people thought the longer they caused chaos and mayhem, that eventually what was meant for you would be given to them, but it didn't happen that way because it was never 
supposed to happen that way. Okay. So someone is seeing you as the truth. There are people watching you, honey. If you are on social media, if you work in this company, they're watching you. You have eyes on you every day, every hour. You have eyes on you and you are being seen as someone as extremely balanced, someone that is a, a go-getter, someone that's protected by the universe. Your path is illuminated. Things are clearing up for you. You have to go ahead by the universe to do what it is that you want to do. So whatever heartbreak you may have gone through is absolutely okay. Just know that the people that came up against you, they are not having any type of good time. They have lost protection if they ever had any from the universe. And unfortunately, the person you were supposed to be working with has fallen from grace. And this was like a mature character that got wooed by money, right? And he has lost his protection and will have to earn that back, uh, which is really sad. You're showing up here in your privileged lady energy, privileged masculine energy, which means that you are someone extremely... Uh, um lively you're supposed to be in a positive energy but because people have been messing with you behind the scenes you're showing up in a state of like uh deplority and things like that right i don't even know if that's a word i think i just made up a word uh, it, it is what it is anyways someone from your past may want to take some type of risk and come towards you now and say oh i choose to be with you i'm so sorry i made the wrong decision in the past Blah 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 blah. This is because this person has some legal legal uh 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 acts uh taking place behind the scenes. Someone is facing legal consequences for something they did. They may have stolen from you, and they think coming towards you and attaching themselves to you is going to lead to some type of uh balance in the situation for them, where they won't be receiving karma. Uh, okay, <laughs> delusional. May I say? The truth is being seen. Your pathway is clear. You are having a brand new passion and beginning in love. Someone sees you as very unique, eccentric, and things like that, but they love you just the way you are. This may have been something that someone from the past hated about you. It's because you were eccentric, a little different, unique. So they may have told people you were mentally unstable and things like that because of the way you thought. But that is because this person did not have a strong connection with Source. So because they didn't have that connection, they didn't understand what it looked like. And quite honestly, the connection we all have with Source is different for each and every one of us. So it's not going to look the same with Jean. And it's not going to look the same with John. Um, every connection we have with Source is unique. But someone is seeing you as the truth. Someone knows you're having a brand new passion and beginning in love. And it's killing them because they want to block your happiness. They want to block your love. They want to block your forward movement. Someone knows that you are a higher priestess. Uh, you don't mess around. You are laying the law down in your life. You're taking charge of your life, basically. Someone has been working with a high priestess behind the scenes. It's like they're paying this person or they are in some type of relationship with this person. And this person may have told them that they could take you down, but it's not going according to plan. Like someone has been pulling all of their tricks out of their out of the hat, right? The tricks are falling out of the bags. They don't know which one to do anymore because they've done all of tr the tricks they can do. But they're going to keep doing doing them because money is on the line. As you know, this is what drives karmics, money. But this, this high priestess, there's something that's going on with her heart. The universe is showing her the truth. And she's knowing that she's about to lose a lot as well. Because of the action she took against you. It's that she does not have a choice but to let go, right? She has to let go now. Because everything she's been doing is being held against her. Because she knew better than that. You don't get to this high priestess level by accident. You have to go through quite a lot. Learn a lot in your life, in your existence to come to this level. And this woman has been throwing that away working with this karmic person to cause you some type of ending. Someone is having fun memories of you and things like that. I'm not really someone that sits back and reminisce about the past with people. I kind of just tend to move forward, focus on the present and things like that. As far as me reminiscing about an ex, a family member, I don't. Unless it's like one of my late parents, it's not happening. Um, so yeah, that's not really my thing, but someone is having a lot of memories about you. They're, you know, like reminiscing about 
um, maybe the good times you all had together, how genuine you were with this person, um, you know, how sincere you were. They've never experienced that with someone else before. So they're having a hard time kind of getting over you. And because they know that you two will never be together again, like it's completely over. This is why this person is going to a high priestess to cause you some type of ending to interfere with your connection with another masculine. There is something going on here between a king of cups and uh, a, 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 an emperor. It's like they're in competition for you. Uh, and I don't know if you're aware of this, but whoever is meant to be with you, source will bring into your energy. Ask source to block anyone that does not have any good intentions for you and to block anyone that you are not meant to be with out of your energy, right? So that they can only allow people with good intention into your space, right? There's something here. Maybe this emperor is taking charge to come towards you to bring something to your attention. For some some of you, there's an emperor that could be facing legal consequences for actions they took against you to cause some type of illusion and things like that. Someone has been playing mental games with an emperor energy as well. It's like they want him to feel conflicted about coming towards you to make you some type of offer in business and things like that because they know it's going to lead to some type of abundance between you and this emperor so the situation is different for quite a lot of you um you as the high priestess as well you are extremely creative you are taking charge of your life and you're moving forward victory is yours right we have the chariot out here showing that you are moving forward in life so regardless of what all of these people have been doing behind the scenes you are still being uh forwarded, accelerated, right? So that you can grow and start fulfilling your purpose that you have on earth. A lot of these people that are coming up against you, honey, are people that you are going to end up helping in some way, shape or form. Or uh, they're going to need you, but won't be able to get the help from you that they need, unfortunately, right? And this is because of actions they're taking up against you today, right? People don't think tend to think about what could happen tomorrow. What if I was nice to this person today and they could end up blessing me tomorrow? What if this person is in rags today, but tomorrow they'll be in uh, riches and stuff and can make a big difference in my life, right? P a car makes something that way. The greed is what leads them um, so that's all they focus on. People have, when people have a little bit of power, they tend to abuse it a lot of the times, um, only for it to come back and bite them in their butt. Sometimes, I don't know if people don't realize this, sometimes the universe will put a star C in your life in a humble energy, right? So you may come across a star C that does not have money, uh, is not financially abundant physically right and the universe wants to see how you are going to treat that person are you going to be honest with them are you going to be generous with them and things like that are you going to be friendly and genuine and sincere with them if you are obviously you are going to get some type of reward for that of course if you are being genuine with them right but if you are mean to these types of people because you think you're better than them and you start taking actions against them to cause them endings, the karma that's coming for you is reckless, is lethal, okay? But people don't think that way. They just think, oh, well, I'm, I'm her boss, so I don't care what she has to say. I'm her supervisor. I don't care what she has to say. You know, I'm going to call her hours or, you know, whatever it is, I'm going to lie on her to get her to, to so she can lose her job. Something like that, right? Um, and you don't realize that that's going to come to bite you in the behind a little bit down the line. And it's going to be when you really need that person that the truth will be exposed to you and they won't be there to help you like you need them to help you. Anyways, this karmic group, that has been working extremely hard to block your forward movement are extremely pissed off because they can no longer block your work. They can no, no, no longer block your forward movement. They can no longer block your life altogether. You have a lot of opportunities coming in. Something is going to be presented to you that's going to lead to a lot of abundance for you, right? You're about to be financially secure, Right. So you won't have to worry about the actions these people are taking anymore because they're being sat down. These people want someone to come in and give you some type of false offer as well, hoping that you will accept that offer and then see it as a brand new beginning so that you can end up missing out on your actual blessing 
that the universe has for you. And this is why I'm saying you need to let the universe know to keep people out of your energy that do not have pure intentions for you. So these people want you to receive a smaller offer than what is really yours. Okay. Um, you are being told to refuse an offer that's being given to you by someone right? It's not a genuine offer. It's a trap. They're going to make it seem like it's something extremely abundant, something that's like a 10 of pentacles and things like that. They may even want to get in a relationship with you, whatever, make it seem like it's something that's prosperous, that you are going to have a good life. You're going to be overworking yourself with this person, right? You're going to be overworked. This person is going to work you to your bones. It's what the plan is. They are going to work you to your bones, honey. And this person is like, if, this is like you partner up with someone that owns a business and they don't really do anything for the business to thrive. So they see that you are someone that's business savvy. So they hire you or they come and give you this really stupendous opportunity only for you to find out that it's a trap that's just meant for you to keep working and working and working, but you don't see any like forward movement, any growth. If the business is growing, it's because of you. And then there's pressure on you to keep showing up and doing the doing whatever it is you're doing. Be very mindful of an opportunity that you receive from someone. It's not a pure intention. It's something to keep you trapped, keep you stuck, keep you overworking yourself, burdened, overworked, and exhausted. Okay? Um... There's something here, you, you all may have experienced some type of ending, and that's quite okay. This is something that led to you taking stance in your life and coming out as a brand new person, right? If you had not gone through this experience, you would have never learned the importance of living in your truth, accepting yourself for who you are, knowing that sometimes it's best to just be alone, right? There's a king, queen of cups in here that's going through some type of betrayal. Not a queen of cups. If, if it came out as a queen of cups, then I guess it is a queen of cups that went through a betrayal. But the queen of wands, there's someone in here that is experiencing some type of ending. This could have been like your nemesis, uh, someone that was up against you for your abundance. They are going through some type of ending that is well-deserved because this is someone that was misrepresenting themselves. This is like someone pretending to be an empress energy or a star sea only to find out they are not. Um, yeah, that this is that situation, okay? Someone here is extremely fixed-minded. This is someone religious. This is someone that has an issue with you being spiritual, but they didn't have a problem with pretending to be spiritual and things like that. For some of you, this was a woman that just hated your spirituality, that light you had about yourself, but they may have pretended like you did something to them when you never did. But this person is experiencing some type of betrayal. There's an ending that she's experiencing that is well-deserved, right? She could be facing some legal issues as well because of something she did, uh, some type of illusion she caused and things like that. Um, so there's an ending that just is well-deserved if for a lack of a better term, right? Um, <clears throat> you as the queen of wands, because you're showing up here in a lot of different energies, which is beautiful because you're taking on the necessary energy per the stage of your life in this situation. So that's absolutely beautiful. You have some type of court case that's going on that you are not aware of. For some of you, someone could have faked a marriage certificate. You could have been left some type of institution that you are meant to guide out of the darkness. For some of you, you have some type of beautiful union that's supposed to come in. For some of you, this has to do with your finances, your abundance. You're, you're about to be in your queen of pentacles energy where your finances will be lined up. Um, you're going to receive some type of financial payout or kingdom for lack of a better word. You're going to be receiving some type of kingdom after this court case because of you standing your ground. Something is going to be, be brought to your attention and you are being advised to take action immediately when it's brought to your attention. If you have to go to court, go to court immediately. Okay. If you have to uh, go to a specific place, go see a specific person go do that. Spirit is going to guide you to where you need to be and ask 
them for guidance as well so that you don't miss this opportunity this appearance of course know that there are karmics behind the scenes that will be trying to prevent you from reaching your destination but you will reach your destination so that you can be in this queen of pentacles energy stay blessed